All right, guys, welcome back to the channel and to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Last episode, we started off on the epilogue. We're now playing as John. Um, we came across this ranch that was getting robbed when we were doing deliveries for it. And now we're a ranch hand. But we seem to be under a secret identity. Jim Milton. I mean, same initials, but a bit of an odd name to choose, John, because they think he'd been hunting you your whole life as in the gang, basically. So, well, not whole life, you know what I mean, though. Anyway, we've got Mr. Abigail and then Mr. Geddes, who's the leader, or like the owner or boss of this ranch. What's your Abigail wants? Or Agatha, as. How are you getting on? Surviving. I think. Here. I'll get you some coffee. Only thing I know how to do is. Well, you know. Undertakers like me. Cattle? Not so much. That ain't true. I ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. I was... I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a... old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but... I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been, it's been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just feels hopeless. You're doing better. Milton! Milton, ma'am. Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lancelot! Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in... Your name? My name. I think so. One's in your name, and the other's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> okay, Lancelot. I'll make a man out of you yet. Not well, look at that hat, dude. Mine. He's only a boy. Just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. And save the... Real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on, yeah. You take care now. Of course. You know me well. I should know. Yeah, you do know me. It's nice getting out of the house, huh? I like being in the house, Pa. I think just about doing things you like, boy. Yes, sir. You make that clear enough. What's that supposed to mean? Only that you aren't so happy here with us. Son, I'm happy. It's just. I find it hard, is all. You'll understand someday. Yeah, Beatrice Hope, that's where that house is in RDR1. Hmm. Maybe that's where John got the idea of getting it. Obviously, he wasn't too keen on about it now. Because he's got too much stuff on his head. But obviously, he must get it eventually, since it's in RDR1. You're real good, Jack. Uh, uh, what do I do? Well, just hold him and pull him short to slow down. Tell him to go faster. Give him a little switch. Like that. And then pull to one side if you want to turn. Here, try it out. There you go. There you go, Jack. Look at you go. John already preparing him for the future. Well, great dad, honestly. Alright, we're in Strawberry now. That's enough. For now. Back in Strawberry, eh, kid? 
You did good, Jack. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted to that. Very good. All right. We're in Strawberry. We need to go in this building right here. I'm pretty sure. All right. Here we are. You all right, son? Sure. Well, cheer up a little. You wait here. Tell you into his Uncle Arthur. Okay. Or he's saying sure. <laughs> if you behave, I might let you drive us home. Can't wait. Lol. Jack is such a mood. Hi, I'm here. To name? M my name? Uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. Marston. Oh God, he's sus. Nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Hmm. Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes. Uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. That guy was sus to me. And I will help you out. I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Ah, uh, it's uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay, let's get out of here. Everything okay, Pa? Sure. I hope so, at least. Here, you take the reins a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. There you go. Nope. Little, uh, yelp. We've come all the way out here, and we're just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh, I missed the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store, or the saloon, or anywhere? We're going back, okay, boy? But, I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving, and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus. Mind your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. Don't know why you can't just say yes, father. Has John made him go yes, sir? If I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. Well, I think we're fine like this for now. I think we're okay like this for now. Plus we're going down a hill. I don't want to make him speed up while we're going down a hill. And also about to make a left turn. Not a lot of supplies here. Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. No, keep driving. Oh no. What's wrong, Pa? Nothing. Skip. Right, up. Let's get away from there. Okay. Pia. Let's go a bit faster. Bit faster. Is somebody back there? Just keep driving. Maybe spill a bit more. Bit faster.
like driving across here. It's the same as any other road. Look where you want to go and the horse will follow. Okay. He's still following us. I think the horse is getting skittish. You'll be all right. Ah. Huh? What? Nothing. Just keep driving. Oh fuck no, he had a gun out. I'm fairly certain he had a gun out. Oh fuck. Okay. What? Bro, I'm with my son, dudes. Son, you wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen. Let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Morrison? You sure look like him. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. You killed a fella out in Roanoke a few months back. No. Wasn't me. That was my brother. Oh, fuck hell. I was in English. I'm real sorry, friend, but he was trying to rob me. You're talking bullshit, mister. Kill him. Fuck. Why you make me do this? Oh my god. They shot first. It's I'm just saying that. You're okay. What? Why? What? It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Keep them eyes closed. Let's go. Come on. Get up. I'm just saying they shot first. They shot me first. Those men. I told you not to look, boy. Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. They shot me first, Jack. Compose yourself. You killed them, Pa. Son, I need you to hold it together. Oh, he's having a panic attack. You were real brave back there. Real brave. Did exactly like I said. Really? Uh-huh. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. There, there. John, just say you're proud of him. Every son, every son calms down when their dad says they're very proud of them. Alright? Oh god, Abigail isn't going to be happy about this. He can't, he can't sort of think about the fact that we were chased by three men and I had to kill him. Look, Jack, just so you know, as I said, they shot at me first, bruh. If I didn't shoot back, I'd be dead. About four years earlier, but, or four years earlier than I was meant to, um, what? How is the... 
What happened? Yeah. It's... I don't... We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed, and then... We... Followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son! It was your dress that caused all the problems. It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. Well, why couldn't you have said that in the first place? It's because frickin' Dickens was there? Look, just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. I remember that quote. Wasn't that when Arthur and... John were like riding together, they were about to get the sheep or something, and they were arguing. And then Arthur goes, just do one thing or another, not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. Obviously they slowed down a little bit for there. I won't hear any more of it. You won't hear any of it. Not in front of the men. You toad. Alright, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. Mr. Milton, I should like to have a word with you. Milton? Mr. Geddes? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, they were... Look at the beard. Well, they mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> I like Mr. Gaddy's. Get on. Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Anybody want some more? Hmm. No, uh, no, I'm thank good. You. I miss Mr. Pearson. John Mark, you're such a pig. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. quality family time. Let's get some rest. I love John's Good night, sarcasm. John. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. I miss Mr. Pearson. <laughs> oh. What the hell was that? What are you? What are you doing? Job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Oh God, fire! Oh, you dickhead! What? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Heard me yeah? uh, uh, kicking your uh, butt cheeks. They've killed Mr. Tobert, and they've stolen my goddamn cat. You men okay? I think so. Uh, Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle. Uh, I guess we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim. I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your 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 name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Yes, sir. Come in. It's me. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. God, I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Mr. Getty's been real good to us. We... I... What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. I'll lead the way. This is gonna be the last we hear out of them. Yeah! Yeah! Right! I don't know why it doesn't just... Oh, this is just there. Okay. Hey, what you see? 
Oh Hi, god. Is one of them following or? Easy. Is that Abe? Come on, dude. Look at all the guns I've got. My god. Off your horses here. We'll be better on foot. Okay. If you say so. That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. A couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Yeah, there's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom. You head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. Hey! Hey! You boys been coming up to Pronghorn? I thought I'd come down here. You're all so tough! Come help! All so tough, eh? I'm walking, dude. Right in the gut. Right in the gut. He's gonna be up above, isn't he? Okay. No, you don't, dickhead. Get off. Get off me. Oh, you know how to fight. Okay. Jeez, okay. For how many times you can knock me on the floor at the same move, you fucking scumbag. For how many times you can hit the same goddamn move? Yeah, that's right, get knocked on the floor, bitch. 
woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. Ah, uh, look at this. This is the cover of Red Dead 1. John Marston with a double barrel shotgun. Look at my hat, shouldn't I? Jesus, dude. This is not what I wanted. I wanted to just have a learn some ranching, peaceful life. But no, nope, everywhere I go, there's always trouble brewing. Seems my luck in the gang has not gone away. Brilliant. And now Abigail's gonna hate me, probably. say nothing sir just doing my job now I don't think they'll be back tonight but how about Abe just in case you stay up yep you see anything or hear anything you fire that rifle three times three times we'll all come running we'll do uh, well said and thank you mr. Milton truly just glad to be a service sir <laughs> I understand you get some rest thank you mr. Geddes What? What? What choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? Well, shit. Hey, Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey! Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there, in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. What do you think you want? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. That's All right. I see him. Thanks, Abe. Thank you. Appreciate it. How would you want? Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. Aw, oh, shit. To discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. Ah, oh, shit. Adler. Here we go again. Sadie Adler. Sadie Adler. After all these years. I mean, she probably knew it was John. Like, she's like, Jim Milton? I saw him get shot in the head. And then she must connect the dots. The dots, JM, John Marston, JM. Yeah, they have the same initials. 
John had the same initials as a guy who captured his wife and tried to hang her for treason. Or get a child or something. I don't fucking know. Anyway. And they're gone. And there's a... What is it a rock star and wives leaving notes to their husbands that they've gone? A kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I have begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. This is literally like Michael from GTA. He was having family problems and the wife left for the foreseeable future. <laughs> is that his RDR1 shirt or something? Am I, or am I tripping? Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married, Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. No, Ed. Turn to work. Okay. Um. Well, normally I'll go to the right. So, what's around this way? There's cow milk in. Yep. Start with this. Left. Right, left, right, left, right. Okay, I'm stopping that. <laughs> Probably it's annoying after a while. Did we just ignore Sadie's telegram? Like, told us, she told us to meet her in the saloon. And it looks like we ain't going there anytime soon. A few months later. So Sadie's been waiting for me at the freaking Valentine's Saloon for th for months. And Abigail and Jack have been gone for months. Well, that's her fool. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I can speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offer me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens.
Go to Geddes' house. <laughs> Knock, knock, knock. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Is your father in? Could I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pow! Hey, I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? I'm sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. Experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose... I need to get a place of my own, so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. Use my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. You'll get her back. I know I will, sir. Thank you for the opportunity. But it's time that I must go on my own ventures. The original attire. Oh, the music. Johnny Way Marston's back. Okay, I don't know what's happened to his face. Alright. Lovely jubbly. Finally starting our own adventures. I've loved being at the ranch, but too much. How long are we recording for? 38 minutes? Alright. Who do I go to first? We've got Sadie. Or we've got the guy at the bank. Let's go Sadie. She's been wanting to meet us for months, and we just aired her. <laughs> so, I think we heard that at least. Oh, son? Uh, I'm muting. Alright, bye.
Desert roads, desert plains. I have seen so much pain. Now I see into the eyes of a girl. No more, no more cruel. I go on Cruel, cruel I'm moving on I've been living too fast And I've been living too long Cruel, cruel I'm Dusty trail, saw the vapor light. Was it a mirage? I don't know, but it seemed right. I felt mission, I felt trust. I knew then that I must go to her from this cruel world. Cruel, cruel world, must I go? Dude, that was freaking amazing. I just love those moments in games, you know. Those are my favorite moments in games. Excuse me, dear. Um, we're just running along in a game, and then just a song plays in the background, like a really good song. Another example, like Days Gone, you know, I did that series. We rode a boozer to Lost Lake. And then played that song in the background. Same when we read out of Lost Lake to go find Sarah. Just so good, man. Just any game that does that. Like, plays a song in the background when you're riding. Hello. There's a few times I've read one as well, which I'm very much looking forward to. But yeah, Roxanne made a good choice with that song. I really enjoyed that. I really, really enjoyed that. Anyway, let's hitch our horse. Didn't think we'll be back in Valentine anytime soon. Anyway, Sadie. Long time though, see. I'm sorry for airing you. But John Marston is now here. That didn't even sound like English. Enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time. Leave me alone. Or what? Oh! Oh! Get the hell out of here before she kills us all! You! You! Get out of here! John Marston! Long time no see. Good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor. You're not aged uh, one bit. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do it. Real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> We didn't hear nothing about you. You, you killed a feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <laughs> she 
He was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy some property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff. Good and bad. Are you any interest in bounties? Uh, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. Oh, it's legal. I'm usually. Then, maybe. Come on, then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the run from New York. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Sounds easy. Come on. We got a bit of a ride. I know. Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounding like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always said if we found him. I know what we said we'd do. We I find him, we said. kill him? That's the case thing, yes. See any of you again after you left for the Yukon? Now we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I aim to be. Probably why I can't afford it. <laughs> this country's becoming real civilized. Bad folk won't be around for long. Oh, thank God. I have to ride the whole way there. from New York, bald guy? Yeah, a few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, s s sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk, but he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's uh, up in room three. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting. He's not gonna be there. Or he is, and you're just gonna run away. Room three. Hello? Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Just a friend. It's your pa. Stop. Hey, that's Nathan Kirk. Oh, got him. Oh, shut up. Come on, jump on. Ow. We got to get after him. Remember, we want him alive, though. I know. Every bad guy tries to hide in a freaking hotel. Really? Oh, you knocked me down a little bit. Somehow landed on my feet. Yup. Probably to flank him or something, John. Oh, we got him. We got his ass. Come on. Come on. 
a little bit close up. Just a little bit close up. Got him! Come here, bitch. Ah. Up you get. Up you get, sir. Thanks for that, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife. My wife is a is a. What now? Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Hold on to it for me. I'm inside my horse. What the fuck? <laughs> Um, see, I've got a boss. No, I've got a um, I could use your help with if you're interested. Uh, at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, all right, girl. Okay. That was, um, rather odd. Well, um, on that bombshell. I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you for the next episode. Deuces.